Create yourself a new world. They say east or west. Home is best. The Property Show decodes the country's opaque property market from the simple bungalows to the marble, luxurious palaces. Enjoy a new world of interior and exterior designing and construction tips. Keep updated with the market trends. Don't miss this exciting real estate experience. Inspiring. It's The Property Show. Now showing on The Property Show. Proudly sponsored by Roofings. Gives them a much longer life and are made with Japanese technology for best quality. Right here in Rwanda. With Roofings Iron Sheets, we've got you covered. Roofings Manufacturing Rwanda, a member of the Roofings Group. And of course, new interiors that always ensures you, uh, they furnish you with the very best in your home, office, wherever it is. Nina Interiors and uh, right down on Mohima Road. And... Uh, Thank you so much, all of you uh, viewers, and let's just take a look at more of what's lined up for you today on The Property Show. Today on The Property Show. Rwanda uko mbibona iterambere mu myubakire mu miturire ririhuta ariko kandi mbona habamo inzitizi simwe na zimwe ku bantu baba badafite ubushobozi bwo kubaka inyubako zigenda nyanya n'igihe bitewe nuko ari biba bitemewe kubakwa bitewe na rejo yari bo kwiyubakira hano mu Rwanda bitewe naho umuntu abatuye cyangwa se aho abafite parcelle imwe na rimwe biragoye biragoye kubera yuko no rugero nk'ubu hano mu mujyi wa Kigali cyangwa se no mu no mu tundi turere tugiye duteye imbere cyangwa se mu mujyi runaka yagiye gerageza mu Rwanda nako kubaka byemewe kuhubaka inzu yose umuntu abonye nako byemewe ariko kandi ubushobozi bwo ari buke kuri bamwe na bamwe la majorité la majorité vous choisissez vous arrivez chez send your dream home pictures and your profile picture to our facebook page hello my name is gloria and i'm taking you through this week's interior designer tip Today I'm going to talk about choosing the right tablecloth for your table. So the question is, do people still use tablecloths? I mean, aren't they things that our grandmothers used to do? Most of the times when we go up country, we find our grandmother set the table and she's got a lovely piece of tablecloth. However, you can still use tablecloths in this modern time. And this is the reason why. If you have a table that's made out of hard plastic, soft wood, pine wood, then you know that it's very hard to maintain such a table polishing it, making sure it doesn't have water stains on it or any other wine stains on it, it's quite difficult to maintain. So a tablecloth will save you all that drama. The second reason you need to have a tablecloth in your home is if you have a lot of furniture, wood exposed, you, don't ha you have less fabric in your, on your sofas, you have less fabric in your space, then, I mean lots of wood in your space, then perhaps a tablecloth would add that magical touch. Soft fabric, luxurious fabric, it's a point of decoration in your home. Now the third thing you need to consider when deciding whether to have a tablecloth or not to have a tablecloth is if you want to change your furniture. Now we make budgets and we say I need to change my sofas, I need to change my curtains, I need to give a big overhaul to my space but you may not have the resources ready. So if you have a tablecloth, it will put that table project on hold while you attend to the other project. 
My name is Gloria, and I've taken you through this week's interior design activity. Take care, and God bless. Oh no, um, it's my dad. Cover me. Yes. Ariko Nawe, is that any way to cover? When you have to cover something, cover it the right way. Only roofing zine sheets have double coating that gives them a much longer life and are made with Japanese technology for best quality. Right here in Rwanda. With roofing zine sheets, we've got you covered. Roofing's Manufacturing Rwanda, a member of the Roofing's Group. Still to come. We came in uh, into Rwanda uh, straight on uh, uh, with a five star property. Uh, our Serena properties in East Africa, we run five star brands. If you are a brand, a brand that is looking to reach hundreds and thousands and millions, it can only be the property show. So contact us and reach us and we'll be able to offer you the platform to be able to reach the thousands and millions. And right now, it is the property of the week brought to you by none other than Interiors. Remember, three key things I always say. Price, location, configuration of a property determines its value, determines its worth. So as we look at a property of the week every week, we need to be inspired to know what do you get to change about your own home living from what we have to showcase to you. Let's take a look at our property of the week. The property of the week brought to you by Nina Interiors. Looking for a real furniture experience? At Nina Interiors, we add value to your desires with the latest wide range of quality office and home furniture. Step into a new reality of a marveling collection. We give you quality and comfort for relaxed evenings at home and a great work experience. Enjoy our special deals on dining sets, masterpieces for the living room, office furniture that creates a mark and exquisite decor. We believe we have what it takes for a wow experience. So why not come to our Nina Interiors showroom at plot number 1410 Muhima Road. marvelous residential home with modern day architecture design standing on the upper hills of Chigali town will be the place to go. This property lights up your spirit right from the sliding gate that gives you a warm welcome through the house. From the outside with wide mirror glass windows and doors. This beautiful home has a wide compound big enough for your kids and grandchildren if you're planning on any. Aside from the spacious compound, but also hold family events. What's better than family? Walking into this luxurious home, you first step into the heart of every home, which is the wide living room. The sitting room is complemented by the fine industrial chandeliers that hang up the pyramid-like ceiling. The dining area is attached to the well-furnished kitchen with fine, strong wooden cabinets. So you will be sure of enjoying your cooking, let alone that delicious meal. The top level of this luxurious home introduces the guest bathroom with its own shower. The guest bedroom has its own big enough and has fine wooden closets for you to keep all your valuables which creates a comfortable stay. Just next to the guest bedroom is the master bedroom that is luxurious and comfortable enough for you to feel like a king in your own home. The rooms in this beautiful home are spaced in a way that it creates enough privacy for everyone in your home. Before you get enough of this luxurious home, just down the hall, you will find a stone wall that gives a more artistic look, hence adding beauty to the house. Not to mention leading it to the outside area of this fine home. So, why not actually choose a home like this? Comfort at its best.
Now, globally, we all know that uh, we've got numerous brand and market leaders numerously from different perspectives, you, whether it's in the world of technology, the aviation industry, whatever it is, whether it's in the foods, oil, whatever it is. But when you talk about the hospitality industry in Africa, that one of the brands that keeps shining for all the right reasons is the Serena brand. And as the property show, we're proud to be affiliated with the Serena franchise of hotels. And joining me on the seat for the very first time on the property show uh, on this particular edition is none other than Mr. Charles Moya, who is the country manager for Serena Chigali. That's in Rwanda. And of course, we all clearly know all the beauties and amazing glamorous senses of greatness that Chigali has. But in the center of this city, the skylines are lighted by brand Serena Chigali and I get to interest him with the very first question right now what continues to make Serena a premium brand? Serena as you know is a company very well established uh, within East Africa and uh, the question on why uh, we remain a premium brand is of course first the recognition uh, of change and the ability for us to handle the change uh, positively uh, this makes us on the spot in terms of, uh, you know, our product, uh, product improvement, uh, our service delivery criteria, uh, staff training, and that kind of stuff. So how would you rate Brand Serena as far as the standards of the hospitality industry are concerned in this region? I, I think we came in, uh, in Rwanda uh, straight on uh, uh, with a five-star property because, you know, uh, our Serena properties in East Africa, we run five-star brands. Uh, and these are brands that are internationally recognized, uh, although we are in East Africa mainly. Uh, uh, but I must say that uh, we, 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 we do spend a lot of time uh, looking into uh, our products. And uh, you realize that uh, uh, within East Africa, we've been very able to uh, to articulate uh, what we stand for, which is uh, high quality with the quality uh, delivery modules. And uh, for this, we continue to excel uh, in East Africa. One of the things that keeps amazing us is the architectural designs of the Serena brands across the region. What inspires the architectural designs of brand Serena? Uh, when you talk of uh, the architectural outfit, uh, then I would say this is borrowed from our company uh, philosophy. If you look at every new place we are situated, uh, may it be in Masai Mara, where our uh, architectural design is the Masai Manyatas, uh, reminiscent to the uh, local dwellings of the people out there. So whenever we are, uh, we want to have the differentiation in terms of the, uh, the architecture. So it's a well thought of uh, thing. It's not by accident, actually. It's a well thought of thing, and even when we get our engineers on the ground, uh, there's a lot of company participation in terms of guidance on what we want them to do, what we want the final product to look like. So I think it's our guidance from the top level. The tourism industry keeps growing in the region, in Rwanda, Kenya, Uganda. What capacity does Serena have to actually match up this rising call for standards as well as capacity? I, I think Serena, in terms of uh, capacity, I would say that uh, we are really ahead of the game. Uh, we've been out in East Africa now since 1968, and uh, uh, we have a portfolio of tourism promotion services with 24 properties across East Africa. And uh, we are still growing. And, and I think in terms of uh, manpower, We've been very able to demonstrate that uh, what we stand for is quality and we've been able to articulate this. Uh, we take in a lot of uh, both internal and outside trainings uh, to empower our people, both in the uh, front area and back areas. And uh, I think the capacity uh, we have, uh, let me talk about uh, the capacity we have in Kigali. Uh, so far, you've seen that uh, when we had the Transform Africa, uh, a year ago, uh, we had the uh, African uh, Development Bank uh, uh, Summit out here uh, with the excessive of uh, 2,000 personnel within the uh, property and outside. And we were able to cope. How do we do this? Uh, if a time arises where we need help, 
we have the ready capacity within the East African properties. And we can move in people here uh, within the shortest time possible, like the way we did for uh, Transform Africa and the African Development Bank. Uh, I'm sure you are aware that this October again, we have the Transform Africa again, and we have the Interpol in November, uh, with the excess of 3,000 uh, personnel uh, within. Uh, we are ready again uh, with our people. We've already asked for uh, help from uh, outside, from Uganda, from Nairobi. And our people are ready there because we already know what we want and we have the capacity ready within the East African market. You have by now won a number of accolades and awards. What would you say is the contributing factor to all this success? I think one thing I must uh, really mention here, I think, is our people. Uh, we've won a few accolades within this hotel uh, in the last five years. Uh, let me tell you that we put in a lot of resources into training our people, uh, including an ongoing uh, training that we have partnered with a company in South Africa, uh, Lobster Inc. International, uh, that we are working together. And as we train, we are not only training our own members of staff, we have partnered with five colleges within Kigali where we are also training students because whenever we have such events like the big events, we also use the same students. They are the same students who are going to be the members of staff tomorrow. And I think this is where our strength is, the people. Uh, we've been able to train our people and our people have been able to embed themselves into the product service delivery that we are looking for. And uh, I think if you concentrate on your product and the delivery mode, then uh, you must be on the game. Parting thoughts to the world out there that could be watching you as far as Brand Serena is concerned. And let me say this. As, as a Brand Serena, please recognize that we are a market leader in the region. Okay? Uh, from the perspective of Rwanda, I, I see increment of business year by year. Yeah? And uh, this is, uh, again, for Rwanda, is a big advantage because this is attributed to a number of, you know, advantage uh, areas uh, where, for example, security is no issue around, hygiene is no question at all, governance is top-notch uh, item on the agenda. And, and I think uh, uh, we, we've been able to, to place uh, Rwanda within the shortest time possible uh, on the right place in the world tourism map. And we will continue to do this because in every country we go, we work on a circuit. Uh, we are yet to complete our tourism circuit in Rwanda. And that is exactly where we are going to. Uh, in the shortest time possible, we are already working on uh, uh, the uh, gorilla circuit area. As you know, we have Kigali Serena and Lake Kivu Serena in the Lake uh, Basin region. So as soon as you have a third property, then we will be looking at other areas to complete our circuit within the uh, Rwanda boundaries. The Louvre is the National Museum of France. It is situated in the capital city of Paris. The museum is considered by many to be the best in the world. It covers a total area of 652,300 square feet and has more than 35,000 objects placed in it. Due to its size and vast collection of art and artifacts, it is impossible to see the entire museum in a couple of hours. The collection spans from the 6th century BC till the 19th century AD. This museum was actually built as a living space for Philip II and some remains of its original form are still present. A lot of its structure changes have been made to give the Louvre its present look. The museum was inaugurated in 1739. However, due to some infrastructure problems, it was shut down for a period of almost five years. Some of the most famous pieces of art that are displayed include Antonio Canova's physique, the Venue de Mille, the Mona Lisa, as well as Egyptian, Greek and Roman antiques. The museum has a very rich heritage that has made the French people very proud and kept visitors coming through its doors.
the show is committed to inspire a first world East Africa, but more importantly, a first world Rwanda. We love you so much. That's why we continue to serve you. Until next week, remember to stay blessed. And why don't you live inspired? Till then. Next week on The Property Show. Another summer day has come and gone away in Paris and Rome, but I want to go home.